This is the Brother Henry and You Show, where you can be inspired, uplifted, and edified through the Word of God. Now enjoy today's program. You guys have got, you've got to give this all that you've got. Anything less and it's going to fail. You've got to surround yourself with people who will encourage you. People who love you and love the Lord and believe in your marriage. And if you're willing to take God's plan, if you're willing to erase all those pictures of marriage that were in your head from your own broken families, from this broken world, and replace it with the beautiful, perfect picture that God paints, He can get you there. God bless you. Welcome to the Brawler Hitter and You Show. I am your host, Brawler Hitter Harris. You know, Scripture says this is the day that the Lord has made. We will, I normally like to say, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Just another day of the Lord's creator to give us a heart to praise Him, to worship Him for all the great and marvelous things He has done. It is such an honor and a privilege to have Pastor Dave Willis. Pastor Dave Willis is from Evans, Georgia. He's a pastor, author, founder of StrongerMarriages.org. Dave's latest book, co-authored with his wife, Ashley, contains inspiring true stories and practical applications for maximizing every minute of your marriage and creating a rock-solid relationship that will stand the test of time. And again, what an honor it is to have Pastor Dave Willis on the show today. Well, Brother Henry, it is it is an honor to be here. I appreciate your ministry and... Um, it's, it's an honor to be speaking to you and to your listeners, so thank you for having me. My pleasure. Your book, Marriage Minute, I think this is a book that all married couples need. Now, is this a book for newlyweds, or is it just for, like, um, everyone in general that's married? Well, I, I think it could be both, and, and potentially even for engaged couples that are just trying to uh, to prepare uh, for a marriage. It's those, the same principles that God created when he created marriage, they really apply to all of us. And whether we've been married for, for a year or 10 years or 50 years, um, those principles hold true. And I think that uh, if people are like me, they need to be reminded of, uh, of the basics sometimes. And so we, we come back to the basics of what Scripture says about marriage, but we also share a lot of inspiring true stories from people that we've known personally uh, who have overcome some great obstacles, and uh, and apply these biblical truths to their own marriages and come out with uh, with great stories on the other side. So so I think really it's for for anyone. I like the title of the book. It says Marriage Minute. Uh, what made you come up with that title? I like it. Well, thank you, thank you for that. Most of my good ideas are actually my wife's idea. So. That's the way it I mean, always works, huh? It is. Yeah, God just made our wives smarter than us, I think. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that is one of her uh, many, uh, many good ideas, just talking about how, you know, we we tend to, in marriage, think about just the the real big things we want to do. Like we think, well, one of these days we're going to go on a uh, a trip around the world, or one of these days we're going to do this, this big thing as a marriage. But really, as fun as those big things might be, a marriage isn't, defined by those those rare big moments, it's, it's defined by those little things we do every single day. Mm-hmm. It, it's defined by those things we do consistently. And so we thought, well, people are busy, but how can we how can we show them that every minute of their marriage matters? And that some of these readings in it, you know, you many of them you can read in a minute or less. And to think, if you'll just take these little minutes throughout the day and intentionally use them to invest into your marriage... And over time, those investments, just like planting seeds in a garden, they're going to grow, and it's going to cause uh, beautiful growth in, in your relationship. What inspired you, Pastor, to write this book? Well, really, it's as a pastor, I talk with couples every day that, uh, that seem to have a struggle in their marriage. And, and after a while, I just kind of started thinking, God, somebody needs to do something about this this problem in so many marriages, and I felt like God was tapping me on the shoulder and saying, hey, you're my somebody, and and I started kind of arguing with the Lord, saying, well, Lord, I'm not a, you know, I, I don't have all this education in marriage, I don't even have 
all that much experience, and I just felt like he was saying, you know, I've, I've gifted you not to be an expert, but to be an encourager. And I want you to use that gift of encouragement, and I want you to apply it to marriages, because marriages need encouraging. And so that's what I did. I, I approached the book not as, a, as an expert, not to say, hey, look at all the stuff I know about marriage, because really, I don't, if there is an expert in marriage, I'm definitely not him, but... But what I do feel equipped to do is to encourage. I think that God gives us all gifts, and, and one of the gifts he's given me is just that ability to encourage people. And I felt like he's called me specifically to apply that towards marriages. And I feel like when our marriages are encouraged and we realize, you know what, we can do this. And and uh, I I really just took that approach to the book, and, and hopefully that's the message people get out of it. They walk away encouraged, and they walk away with some practical tools they can use to build their own their own marriage. You you know as well as I do that uh, many marriages have issues. Many marriages have their ups, their downs, their difficult moments. Uh, based on your own personal um, marriage experience, what could you say to a couple right now that may be facing some difficulties in their marriage? And also, how would this book benefit them? That's a, that's a great question. I, I would say if you're struggling, first off, um, don't give up. Don't give up. I, I think that, that our, our culture is is wrongly taught that the moment a marriage gets hard, that you should just quit. But marriage is going to be hard sometimes. Um, it's just the way that, that life works. And I think that that commitment, those vows that you made to each other, they're most important in those moments when they're hardest to hold on to. So when you're ready to, to quit, don't ask God for help. I say um, surround yourself with people who are going to lift you up. Surround yourself with people that love God, love you, and love your spouse. And those are the folks that you need to listen to for wisdom. Because uh, a lot of people will try to give you a lot of advice. But if they don't love God, love you, and love your spouse, then their marriage advice is probably not going to be very balanced. Uh, and and I say just look for look for little things you can start doing right away to improve your marriage. You know, reading this book or a book like it, uh, maybe getting connected into a marriage group or class at your church, um, just going on a date night and saying, you know what, we're going we're gonna to get a babysitter, we're going to go out and spend some, some much-needed time together. But do those little things and then start trying to do them with consistency. Create some new habits in your marriage. And I think over time, um, the big parts of your marriage are going to get bitter, bigger and the, uh, the negative parts are gonna gonna get weaker. Amen. I like what you said earlier, Pastor. How a lot of times we think, and uh, when you say it, they kind of get home with me. When I, I've only been married three or four years, but when I first started out in marriage, I was like so focused on the big things. But actually, to my wife, it's the small things like I love you, uh, the dates, uh, sitting down, listening. I believe listening has a is an important factor um, in marriage. So uh, I think those are some important steps that many married couples uh, need to know today. My last question is, um, can you name one downfall um, of most marriages or why it doesn't work? That's a great question. I think probably the biggest single downfall in marriage is, is selfishness. I feel like that, that all of us are, are pretty selfish by nature, and mm-hmm. um, and we, that's something that we've got to we've got to overcome every day in our marriage because marriage is an opportunity to show a lot of selfless love the way that God has shown us. And when I look at the reasons why people get divorced, um, pretty much all all the reasons can be traced back to, to selfishness on on one on the part of one or both spouses. And so I would just tell husbands and wives, you don't. You don't have the power to change your spouse, but you have the power to allow God to change you. And Amen. so start there. To start there. The, the, the best way to improve your marriage is to allow God to improve you. And then and then pray for your spouse, encourage your spouse, and you're going to start seeing your marriage improve. Amen. That's awesome. Pastor Dave Willis, thank you so much for taking this opportunity to be on the show today. To those that are listening, um, he said this is going to be um, geared towards engaged couples, uh, newlyweds, or even if you've been married for a while, I believe this book will be a great help to you. You can purchase Marriage 
submit it at www.davewillis.org. Again, www.davewillis.org. I also wanted to mention that uh, Pastor Dave Willis wrote another book called I Vow, which happens to be a bestseller. Are you excited about that? You know, it's been really exciting uh, just how God has has opened doors. And, um, you know, my wife and I, when we first kind of started started this ministry a few years ago, we, we didn't dream that um, that he would use it to reach so many people. So it's it's humbling, it's exciting, and, and for all those out there that, is, that have read one of the books or that have uh, connected with us online, we just want to say thank you for being, um, being part of our journey and allowing us to be part of yours, and uh, we just pray God's continued blessings for you. Amen. And you can also purchase I Vow at that website, which was given, www.davewillis.com. That or till next time, may God bless you, and always remember that God loves you, and He cares for you. Keep going. He is with you. He says, "Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you." Keep going because He says you can do all things through Christ, who gives you strength. And keep going because He says He'll work all things together for your good. So don't lose hope, because whatever you're facing, it I can promise you, God has a purpose for it, and He is going to bring good out of it.